Mission 7. We're really building up the expectations now. You have no idea. So there's less than 60 days left to this My Level Up trip. Let's recap. Mission 1 was to feel young again by beating my old record of the CN Tower Climb. Mission 2 was the Spartan Trifecta, to toughen up and finish the three different distances for the Spartan Race, a mud run series. Mission 3 was the Bloodsport Splits, so I can increase my flexibility before the trip starts. I actually recently tore my hamstring sparring in a cage. It was my first class with Carlos Newton. Fun. So, uh, yeah, not happening anytime soon, but hopefully before the trip starts. Mission 4 was the Traveler Century Club. Visiting 100 countries, which won't happen anytime soon. Mission 5 is to survive the zombie run in Los Angeles with a respectable sub 30 minute time and a stabilizer. So you guys don't get sick when I do review videos anymore. I'll be reviewing this later in items, by the way. Look, I literally took 30 seconds to stabilize this. The run will happen in LA next week, so if you're in town, give me a shout. But you'll have to wait till next week for the level up. Till then, please enjoy my Toronto pre-run video with a uh, run for your lives. Mission 6 is to do a stop-motion tour of at least the 12 major cities I'll be going to. If I have time, I'll try to hit up the small cities as well. This is my stop-motion tour of New York City, and it's my first try. Enjoy! And now, finally, Mission 7. The reason why I've been saving this one for Mission 7 is that it is the Seven Continents Club. Where do I find this crap? How do you join the Seven Continents Club? Well, you have to run seven marathons on all seven continents. There's a half marathon option too, if you want. And of course, I don't want to just do any old marathons. So I'm going to be crazy. It's Gangnam style. Crazy. Here's the plan. And it may change depending on money, weather, etc. North America. I'll be starting in my hometown, Toronto. Tomorrow, <laughs> with my very first marathon in my life. Uh, I'm a little worried because of the torn hamstring and I've been sick for the past two weeks, which is why I haven't posted any videos. But um, I have a strategy, and if you go on my website, you can check out uh, the plan, the game plan. Next would be Australia for the six foot marathon, the longest trail run in Australia. And it looks brutal. Asia, the Great Wall Marathon, where we actually run part of the marathon on the Great Wall. It's actually really bad on your legs because you have to go up and down a lot of mountain before you get to the wall. And there's a lot of stairs when you get there. But the good thing is I'm running it with one of my oldest and best friends, King. Africa, the Mount Kilimanjaro Marathon. So for five days, we climb the highest mountain in Africa. And then as soon as we come down, we run a marathon. Europe, Greece, for the original marathon. From Marathon to Athens. I'm really excited about this one because I'll finally have something in common with Haruki Murakami. Love that man. And to end it off, a double marathon. First, Antarctica. I'm running a marathon on Antarctica. Thought Canada was cold. And then as soon as we fly back to Chile, I'll be running another marathon there as well to finish the seven. I was initially gonna finish off the trip with a double New Year's and I still will do it, but uh, I'll be finishing it off with this instead. So the ending of the My Level Up trip will be around fe the end of February in 2014. The cool thing is, is that this is all coming full circle. Uh, back in 2008, I ran the Nike Human Race. And at that time, the registration was full. So I had to kind of get my way in by telling my story. They eventually put me in their Nike Human Race book. To get in the book, I told them how I was traveling around the world doing martial arts and running. While it was true, it wasn't exactly what I was planning. And I didn't really do what I wanted because of injury or money or I was a pussy. But better late than never. So I'm doing it now. And it feels pretty damn good. An even cooler thing is that I have this neat watch now. Swag. I got better items as I got older. Uh, it's the Nike Plus GPS watch, which I'll be doing a review on as well. And what it does is that it's like the TMI watch. It gives me information on where I am, how fast I'm going, my heart rate, and my elevation. And I think it's gonna be really cool to log runs around the world. And isn't it gonna be awesome when you see a run on like the Great Wall of China or Antarctica? I'm also gonna do runs in weird and unusual places, like this run in an airport. If you check out the satellite view, it's pretty cool. You can see all the planes and my little track. So I'm really looking forward to testing this little baby out and uh, logging these seven continent runs. Hopefully I'll be the first person to do it. 
Hopefully I'll be the first Korean to do the seven continents. I intend to log all of my runs, including all the training runs and treadmill runs. So follow me on Twitter or check out my Facebook page to check out those runs. How's that for a mission? Bonus! If I get a sugar mama or some ridiculous sponsorship, I'm going for a victory lap. The North Pole. And if I get this, I get the Marathon Grand Slam Club. Where do I find all this crap? Gangnam style. Crazy. Where do I find all this crap? The Seven Continents Club.